Um, so sticking with sickle cell disease, multiple companies are trying to catch Bluebird Bio um, using CRISPR to edit DNA um, to treat the disease. Um, CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex are furthest along. Um, they already have data um, that's shown that they can cure patients at least in the short term, meaning maybe months or a year, or maybe maybe that data out to a year, I'm not sure. Um, Editas Medicine just started a phase one, two clinical trial for sickle cell disease. So I don't believe they have any data yet. Um, these companies are doing this ex vivo. So that's outside of the body. Um, basically they take the, the cells out of the patients, take the bone marrow out of the patients. They, they do the CRISPR and then they put the bone marrow back in. Um, last week, Intellia, which would be the third major CRISPR editing company, um, released data that showed that they can edit bone marrow in vitro. So they're just putting the CRISPR um, therapeutics in, in a, um, in a, uh, uh, in a um, cassette that, that goes into the, into the body. You just, you know, do an infusion and then it goes, it finds the bone marrow and, and changes the cells. Um, but of course this was in mice. Um, so they haven't, they haven't cured humans yet. Um, do can you talk about the advantages of in vivo versus ex vivo um, using CRISPR? Yeah, there actually are several advantages for the in vivo or in the body approach. Uh, it's a lot easier to manufacture for one thing. Um, and uh, it's safer, actually. I mean, you know, you have to think about it. The other approaches, the ex vivo approaches are, um, you know, basically they have to essentially do bone marrow transplantation. They're, they're taking all the blood out and uh, engineering it, putting it back in. Uh, so this and is they're basically, they're basically giving people chemotherapy. Yeah, to, to basically. Make, they basically give, um, it's not basically, I guess they are giving people chemotherapy yeah. to instead of, instead of, instead of trying to kill the bone marrow that that's cancerous, they're trying to kill the bone marrow to make room for the new cells that you want to put in. Right, right. And, and they can do, uh, administer more treatments with this approach as well. And so, uh, that's another advantage. So they can, uh, basically do more treatments so that the CRISPR edits more cells, you know, and so that's good news because that can uh, make the uh, ultimate uh, yeah, efficacy higher. Um, so, you know, I think there's a lot of reason for hope about the potential for, for this and others. Uh, I think there's a lot of good news really for uh, patients with uh, sickle cell disease and, and beta thalassemia, which are, you know, two similar rare genetic blood disorders. Um, obviously CRISPR therapeutics and, and its partner Vertex are the uh, farthest along Furthest along in their clinical testing, they've reported some good results so far. Uh, Editus Medicine has a promising approach that, that the company thinks could be even safer, more effective than CRISPR's approach because of where it focuses on doing the gene editing. And they're in uh, phase one, two testing for sickle cell disease and hope to later expand into beta thalassemia. Uh, Intellia's approach, the in vivo approach, uh, could be the safest and most effective of all, uh, but it's it's behind the others. So, but there's good news all the way around. I, th I think there's uh, you know possibilities for success for all of these companies involved. By the way, just as a, dis a disclosure, I own shares of both Editus Medicine and uh, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, but I'm I'm actually rooting for all of these companies in this space. Yeah, I own uh, shares of Vertex. Um, and the other thing I think that the in vivo really gives you that the ex vivo doesn't is that is there's a lot of different diseases that you can only treat in vivo, right? There's only a limited yeah. number of diseases where you can pull the cells out and then manipulate them in the laboratory and then put them back in, you know, kidneys, livers, all those are gonna require in vivo um, to, to treat uh, the diseases with, with um, uh, CRISPR. So I think this is a good first step for, for CRISPR to at least be able to treat the bone marrow.